In this video, I'll answer all the most commonly asked questions about e-commerce platforms like Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Squarespace, and Wix, including the questions that most people will not give you a straight answer on. Now, the problem with searching for e-commerce platforms online is that every platform has an affiliate program. Every shopping cart that you read about online are from people who make money when someone signs up. Now, here are my recommendations depending on your business model and where you live, and I don't care whether you sign up through me or not. Now, when starting an online store, selecting the best e-commerce platform for you depends on five factors. Your budget, how much money are you willing to spend on your shopping cart? Ease of use, is the user interface intuitive and easy to navigate? Flexibility, do you want to add custom functionality to your store? And do you want full control over the platform? Customer support, does your e-commerce platform offer great support? Third-party developer support, does your e-commerce platform have an ecosystem of app developers and theme designers? Now overall, there's no one-size-fits-all solution to your online store, and you should never blindly sign up for an e-commerce platform just because it's popular. Every shopping cart has its own pros and cons, which must be carefully weighed based on your situation. Now I'm gonna run down the most frequently asked questions that I get about selecting an e-commerce platform for your online store. Now let's start with the basics. What is an e-commerce platform? Well, an e-commerce platform is software that allows you to sell physical and digital products online. A shopper can browse the products that they wanna buy, add them to their cart, and then check out directly on your website. Now because credit card information is transmitted through the internet, every e-commerce platform must be secure and have the necessary features to conduct transactions online. Now, how do e-commerce stores earn money and why do you need one? Well, e-commerce websites make money by sourcing wholesale products in bulk and then selling them online at retail prices. And the typical gross margins for an e-commerce website that carries inventory is around 50% or more. Now, there are many different e-commerce business models to choose from, and there's a shopping cart for every different e-commerce business model. So for example, you could sell handmade goods. This is where you create your own products by hand and then sell them on your online store. There's also dropshipping. Dropshipping is a way to sell online without inventory and fulfillment. When an order is placed on your site, your e-commerce platform electronically notifies your supplier to ship your product to your end customer, and all inventory and shipping is handled by your dropshipping supplier and is purchased on demand. You can also sell wholesale products. Buying wholesale is when you purchase other people's products at wholesale prices and then sell them in your online store. And then finally, you can sell private label products. Private label is when you purchase and create custom products direct from a factory with your own brand and logo. Private label margins are the highest among the different business models and you can create your own brand. Now, regardless of which e-commerce business model that you choose, e-commerce websites make their money by buying products in bulk at low prices and then selling them individually at a markup. But the business model that you choose can influence your choice of e-commerce platform. More on this later. Now, the million dollar question is what e-commerce platform should you use? Well, the right e-commerce platform for you depends on several factors such as your budget, how tech savvy you are, and the features you require. And here's my short list of my favorite platforms. WooCommerce. If you are in a low budget, WooCommerce is an e-commerce platform that can be installed for less than $3 a month. In fact, my nine and 11-year-old kids launched their own print-on-demand t-shirt business on WooCommerce with their allowance money. Now, the biggest shortcoming of WooCommerce is the lack of support. You must be reasonably tech savvy to succeed with WooCommerce and be a good problem solver. But overall, WooCommerce is the most popular shopping cart in the world and well supported by third party developers. Here's actually my review on Shopify versus WooCommerce. There's also Shift4 Shop. If you are on a low budget and you reside in the United States, Shift4 Shop is also a fantastic solution. It is a fully hosted e-commerce platform that is as powerful as Shopify and it's 100% free to use. Now the only downside, is that Shift4 Shop is not as user-friendly as Shopify, but you can't be free. Here's my review on Shift4 Shop. Now overall, Shift4 Shop is not nearly as popular as Shopify or WooCommerce, so there is far less third-party support. But most essential tools like Klaviyo support Shift4 Shop out of the box. There's also BigCommerce. If you're willing to pay at least $30 a month for your e-commerce platform, BigCommerce is an excellent solution. It's well supported by third-party developers and contains every feature that you need to run a fully featured store out of the box. Unlike Shopify, where you get nickel and dime paying for third-party apps, BigCommerce offers every feature that you need all at one, one inclusive price. Now, the only downside of BigCommerce is that you are charged based on your store revenue. Here's my review of BigCommerce. 
And then finally, we have Shopify. Shopify has become the standard for e-commerce and is the 800 pound gorilla in the e-commerce platform space. If you have the budget for Shopify, then Shopify is highly recommended. However, the cost for Shopify can quickly add up as you add more plugins to your site. The average Shopify user uses seven add-ons which all carry recurring fees. But overall, you can't go wrong with Shopify if you're willing to pay the money. Now, which e-commerce platform is the best? Now, if price is not a criteria, then Shopify is the best e-commerce platform overall. Because Shopify is so popular, most third-party software tools support Shopify first and foremost. As a result, if you need a cutting edge feature or add-on, then you'll probably find it in the Shopify app store. Which e-commerce platform is best for small businesses? Now, if you're a small business that generates six, seven, or even eight figures, then you should go with a fully hosted e-commerce platform like BigCommerce or Shopify. Now in the grand scheme of things, the cost of your shopping cart will be a small fraction of your overall revenue and you'll wanna pay for great support and uptime. Both Shopify and BigCommerce have an excellent track record and their customer support is fantastic. Which e-commerce platform is best in India or for international sellers? The best e-commerce platform for India and international users is Shopify and BigCommerce because they offer excellent international support. But between the two options, I actually give the edge to BigCommerce. Every BigCommerce theme provides a multi-currency converter out of the box. And based on the IP address, your visitor will be shown prices in the correct currency depending on where they live. Furthermore, BigCommerce supports many more payment gateways than Shopify. Shopify payments does not work in India, which means you'll have to pay an extra transaction fee to use a supported payment gateway in India. Which e-commerce platform is best for dropshipping? The best e-commerce platforms for dropshipping are Shopify and WooCommerce. Now the most important aspect of dropshipping is EDI support. EDI stands for Electronic Data Interchange and allows your e-commerce platform to stay in sync with your supplier in terms of inventory. Now, because Shopify and WooCommerce are the most popular shopping carts in the world, many dropshipping suppliers support these two platforms out of the box. Now, BigCommerce deserves an honorable mention here as well, but their pricing scheme is not conducive to dropshipping. Because BigCommerce charges based on revenue and not profit, you will likely make less money on BigCommerce because the margins for dropshipping are so low. Which e-commerce platform is best for SEO? Now, the best e-commerce platforms for SEO are BigCommerce, Shift4Shop, and WooCommerce. These three platforms allow you to freely adjust your title tags, meta descriptions, and URL slugs to whatever you want for maximum SEO flexibility. Now, if you're wondering why Shopify is not on this list, it's because Shopify offers poor flexibility and control over your URL slugs. All Shopify categories and product pages follow a rigid URL structure, which is non-optimal. Furthermore, if you want to add a blog to your Shopify store, it must be placed on a subdomain, which is not ideal for SEO. Meanwhile, both BigCommerce and WooCommerce offer a native WordPress integration, which allows you to run your blog in a subfolder to maximize your SEO authority. Which e-commerce platform is best for beginners? The best e-commerce platform for beginners is Shopify. Shopify is both user-friendly and beautiful, and it's designed from the ground up for ease of use. You can think of Shopify as the Apple of e-commerce platforms. Now there are other competing platforms which are just as easy to use as Shopify, such as Wix and Squarespace, but they are not nearly as powerful. Now which e-commerce platform does Amazon use? Well, Amazon uses their own proprietary e-commerce platform that is not available for public use. However, sellers can list their products directly on Amazon for a fee. Amazon also offers a program called Amazon FBA where you can send your inventory directly to Amazon and they will handle order fulfillment and customer support. Now, if you're interested in learning how to sell on Amazon or your own online store, take my free six day mini course below. Which e-commerce platform does Walmart use? Walmart also uses their own proprietary e-commerce platform and is not available to the public. However, sellers can list their products on the Walmart marketplace for a fee. Similar to Amazon, Walmart offers their own Amazon FBA-like fulfillment platform that handles shipping and customer support. What about Squarespace? Well, Squarespace offers an inexpensive and easy to use e-commerce platform designed for beginners and new online store owners. Now, while Squarespace is attractively priced and easy to use, it is not designed for serious e-commerce entrepreneurs. Because Squarespace has very little market share in the e-commerce space, there are very few third-party developers that support the Squarespace platform. 
So for example, Squarespace does not support Klaviyo, an email marketing tool that is the standard for seasoned e-commerce stores. SMS marketing tools like Postscript and Attentive do not support Squarespace either. So bottom line, Squarespace is a great way to begin selling online, but it's not a good choice for long-term shops. What about Wix? Wix offers an inexpensive e-commerce platform designed for online sellers who are not tech savvy and brand new to e-commerce. And similar to Squarespace, Wix is easy to use, designed for beginners, and allows you to take transactions online. However, Wix does not support many e-commerce tools that are required for serious e-commerce stores. While Wix is slightly more flexible than Squarespace, there are very few e-commerce tools that natively support the platform, and you have to pay for glue logic platforms like Zapier or Integromat to implement critical features. So overall, Wix is a great way to start selling online, but it's not designed for serious online store owners. Feel free to read my full breakdown of Shopify versus Wix. What about GoDaddy? GoDaddy offers their own proprietary e-commerce platform, which is designed to add e-commerce functionality to an existing GoDaddy website. However, the GoDaddy e-commerce platform is not well supported by third-party developers or even GoDaddy itself. As a result, the GoDaddy platform should be avoided at all costs. Now, how do you check what e-commerce platform a website is using? Well, if you're shopping online and you like the way an online store is designed, you can easily find out what e-commerce platform they are using. All you need to do is use a free tool called builtwith.com. Here's how it works. Simply type in the website URL on the builtwith.com website, and then Builtwith will tell you which e-commerce platform the site is using, along with a list of plugins and add-ons. Now, if you use this tool to browse your favorite e-commerce stores, you'll notice that most of the established stores you'll find are either on Shopify, BigCommerce, or their own proprietary platform. Now, the million dollar question also is, do you really need your own e-commerce platform? This is actually the number one question I get asked, and why bother having your own online store when you can just sell on Amazon? Well, here are the reasons. It's very competitive to sell on Amazon. There are more than 10 million Amazon sellers and over 2 million are from the US alone. The competition is fierce and there's rampant piracy on the platform. Standing out on Amazon is extremely difficult. You also get limited access to your customers. Amazon owns all of your customer data, so you can't do email marketing, SMS marketing, or direct mail marketing. As a result, it's extremely difficult to generate repeat sales. There's also many product restrictions. Amazon has a lot of restrictions on what you can sell and what you can't. They also restrict specific categories such as watches, jewelry, and sports collectibles. You'll need to contact Amazon directly for approval. Now, I hope this video answers most of your e-commerce platform questions. And as you can tell, the answer is not black and white. And you need to pick a platform depending on your specific situation. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.